Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about some problem I had when I started using this Polar Vantage V3. And uh, it's no big deal, I think, because uh, some of the problems I will talk about have been fixed. But if you have them, you can uh, look into this. So the first problem I had was that my running sessions didn't update so good. So one thing to check if you have that problem is the firmware. Because I had the 125 first. But after updating to 135, uh, everything was working again. So, and here is uh, some pictures on how it looks if you have those kind of problems. And here you can see I have the watch and uh, the phone at the side, and I try to sync, and uh, some things uh, get synced but for some reason running sessions didn't sync as they should and um, that was uh, i also lost some running sessions actually they the phone crashed but as you can see here the syncing didn't work so and uh, again then if you have those uh, kind of problem check your firmware so it's the right one but um, here is some uh, of how it looked because I I could sync with a flow sync app that I have on my computer. So that was one way to do it. So but on the other hand it didn't uh, get all the data there. I think the GPS data was missing anyway so uh, yeah so it was really bad at the beginning. I uh, as you can see, this is from February. Now it's uh, the end of March. So I have checked for other problems during this time, but yeah. As you can see here, I tried uh, some updating and eventually it worked this way. But uh, as I said, it didn't uh, update every data. And, uh, but, uh, here you can see both sessions are there for for the Sunday. So it, it got there eventually with some missing data. And uh, then I also have some other problem. And this was uh, had nothing to do with the uh, firmware. But uh, when I do this indoor biking, I thought I didn't want to use my watch. I thought like I just use my phone and uh, record there straight from the pulse meter that I have on my chest. But uh, there I could see that there was some more problem and we're going to look into that also because for some reason it didn't um, sync co correctly. As you can see here is only my indoor cycling sessions and uh, the 17th of February there I didn't use my watch, I only used the app. And uh, I have both test sessions in both places, but here you can see my cardio load is there. But in the phone app, there is no cardio load. Uh, it is this perceived load and uh, how I felt. So that was really bad. And then you can see here in the cardio load report then, since it didn't, uh, updated the uh, the in the phone yeah i have to find my way there so i get to the right place. you see there on 24th it says overreaching it doesn't say that in the web application so i have a different uh, data in the different places and that should not be i think uh, and that is since the session is not updated there on the 17th uh, yeah you can see there i try to point there out that there is no session there even though i record it on the phone uh, and there 24 i have a different uh, data also you can so that is uh, a little bit bad that uh, it's done like that. 
So I assume again that this have a have some syncing problem in the phone app to the web application that they might have to sort out. Yeah, so that was that. So I can just say that if you have uh, those kind of problem, uh, the first one, as I talk about, if you have syncing problems and the running sessions disappear, uh, try to update the firmware. That was my trick, at least after that, I have had uh, no problem with my running sessions. It works uh, just fine and uh, maybe I should run better, but that is another thing. But uh, this syncing, if you do indoor cycling and not record it on your watch and record it on your app, it could have some problem. And um, I probably uh, get back to that and make some uh, fake session <laughs> because I really want to record it. So now I don't. Uh, so now I record it always record on the watch and not on the app. But I like the, how it looks in the app. So I hope this will work in the future. Yeah, I just want to say thank you and uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you think these videos are helpful, I will probably come up with more videos. So thank you very much and goodbye.